for a walk. We're gonna go on our daily morning walk. It's currently 10 a.m. We gotta work on getting up earlier. I think I'm gonna do just waking up at 5 a.m. for a week because that will like reset my schedule. So yeah, right now I'm used to waking up like pretty late, but we're still gonna have a productive day. So let's go out for a walk. Okay, I was gonna do an avocado toast for breakfast, but this avocado is not ready yet. So we're gonna have to figure something else out. I did actually meal prep some homemade granola yesterday. It's the first time I've ever made homemade granola. I actually burned the first batch, so I had to remake it, but this one actually turned out like pretty good, except it's not like clumpy. It's more like just oats. I probably should have had more liquid. It tastes really good. I did vanilla granola there's also coconut flakes in here so yeah i think i'm gonna do this with some greek yogurt vanilla matcha and vanilla oats the best combo but today i really want to focus on doing some back to school prep and more specifically just like get back into routines and especially like meal prepping i have some recipes i've seen on tiktok that i want to try meal prepping i also recently made a little snack drawer in my fridge and i kind of just want to restock that so whenever i'm studying i can just like grab a snack from my snack drawer Okay, so I'm gonna do this charcoal mask. I've actually been using this one for years and it's so good, but it's been like a couple of months since I last used it. Okay, I look crazy, but I'm gonna <laughs> style my hair. I haven't been styling my hair for a couple weeks, I think. I've been trying to just let it rest and air dry for summer, but I feel like I gotta get back into like actually styling it. I'm just gonna start with blow drying. I feel like my hair always gets pretty dry when I blow dry it. So I'm gonna see if putting in some like leave-in treatment helps it. This is the She Moisture Coconut Oil, Coconut Milk Leave-In Treatment. So we're gonna try it. I think you're supposed to spray it. it smells good. Okay, so we're done with the hair and makeup for today. I just did like minimal makeup. Also, I feel like if I want to get more volume in my hair, I gotta start doing these like rolls or I don't know what they're called. Right now, it's not a lot of volume, but honestly, I kind of like it. So yeah, we can check that one off my to-do list. I've been wanting to wash my hair for like days. Okay, I think now we're gonna start filming a little haul for TikTok. So I got these super fancy clothes from this brand called Mott. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's M-O-T-F. So I got these like shorts. Super, super fancy. I don't know if you can see the material, but it is like a super super nice material you can get these on Shein they're much higher quality than the average like Shein clothes they're also a bit more expensive but obviously like because the quality is super nice yeah we got some like fancy shorts and then and this a really pretty top it's a tube top yeah this will be perfect for like going out wait maybe this is the back <laughs> this is the front yeah super fancy and then also got this super fancy like kind of blazer top it's a bit longer honestly this gives like fashion week vibes i'm gonna try matching this with the shorts then i also got these shoes like these are probably the most fanciest shoes i've ever gotten i usually always wear sneakers even for a night out like i just always wear sneakers so i thought i would get some like fancy shoes to dress my outfits up a little bit more and then i also got these like sandals perfect for summer even though summer's almost over but yeah they'll be perfect for next summer and if i'm going on vacation and these are also super high quality this is like an actual high quality brand i feel so fancy right now i don't think i've ever had a fancy outfit like this ever okay so this is the top it's like a blazer but it cuts off right here at the shoulders and it also has a belt which makes it super fancy and then it's kind of longer on one side and then these are the boots i 
actually love these they're super pointy but also really comfortable and now i need somewhere to go because i am obviously not gonna walk around at home like this i was just gonna stay home today but now i feel like i gotta go somewhere so for lunch today i'm gonna have some leftovers from yesterday's dinner there's not a lot of it but i think it's gonna be enough for a lunch this smells really really good so we're gonna be doing a little bit of meal prepping and baking that's molly <laughs> but yeah i really want to get into baking specifically for fall i feel like it's such a cozy activity but i think we're gonna start meal prepping some chia seed pudding because it's super easy you do it for breakfast or as a snack i make it in my little yogurt cup so then i can just grab this in the morning and fill it up with some yogurt or like banana so it's all ready to go so we're just gonna do two spoons of chia seeds and then some soy milk and we mix and it's all ready to go like it's super simple you could also add a sweetener but i think the soy milk is already pretty sweet so actually we could add a little bit of vanilla to it okay we're adding a tiny bit of vanilla sugar so now that that's done i'm just putting it in the fridge Okay, so now I'm gonna make some brownies. It just started raining, so it's perfect like baking weather. And honestly, I couldn't find a single recipe for brownies that I could fully follow because, because either they have like protein powder in them because, or they have like something else I don't have. So honestly, I'm gonna try to make a combination of all the recipes and see if they turn out good. But I do have like a really ripe banana that I wanna use. Okay, then we're adding the cocoa powder. Honestly, I'm not even going by a recipe right now, so I'm hoping this will turn out good. I have actually no idea how those are gonna turn out because I did not follow a recipe but I can just eye measured like everything but they're in the oven. We'll see how they turn out but in the meantime I'm gonna do some cheeses. I saw Nara Smith on TikTok making these and I've been craving some ever since. So yeah, I got this cheddar cheese and then I just mix it with some butter, some flour, a little bit of salt and water and that's like it. And then you bake them in the oven. So it sounds really easy. <laughs> Okay, so this is the brownie. It actually turned out pretty good. It's not like super soft on the inside, but it's definitely like not dry either. Yeah. It's really good. It has kind of a banana taste, obviously, because there's banana in it. Okay, so now I thought I would reorganize my snack drawer in my fridge a little bit. So I just put the brownies in this and I'm gonna put them in the fridge. And then I think we're also gonna organize these a little bit better. <laughs> Okay, this looks really good and it smells really good. I just want to try one right away. They're gonna be so hot. But let me try this tiny one. I obviously didn't shape them like actual Cheez-Its, but I mean, it's probably gonna taste the same anyways. That's so hot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let them cool down a little bit. That's really good. Wait, it kind of tastes like Cheez-Its. It's like much better since they're homemade. I'm gonna start making these like every week. Alright, so now the snack drawer is all restocked again, and this time with homemade snacks. Last time I got a bunch of store-bought snacks, which I guess is good and easy, but there's nothing like homemade 
snacks. All right, so the last meal prep we're gonna make for today is like a one big Mediterranean dish. I don't know what to call it. I saw it on TikTok again. But yeah, you basically just put potatoes and then a bunch of veggies on an oven dish and then bake it and then you put some crumbled feta cheese over and it looks so good. I'm so excited to try this. It seems really easy. It's a perfect like meal prep dish. Wow. Ah. 